I kind of was expecting it, to be honest. Like, like people are acting like it's surprising and shit. To be honest, for me, like, I know Zero for a long time, and it just wasn't a surprise to me at all. But, like, one thing, there was a reason. Okay, what's it called? Um, I think Hal mentioned that... Actually, I'll get to that later. I'd say, like, more about the dropping right now, I guess. Uh, let me explain my... But, like, what I'm mad at. What I'm mad at, I don't care that I got dropped. I don't care about that. The, the thing that I'm mad at, or I got mad at, is that I had no notice. I genuinely had no notice that I was going to get dropped. I found out six days before roster lock. Six days, six days before roster lock by my own teammates. That was, but no, I didn't find out by my teammates. I did not find out by my teammates. Guess who I found out by? I found out by It's Timmy. My teammates didn't even tell me that I'm getting dropped. I found out by It's Timmy who messaged me. I didn't find out by them. Six days before roster lock. And the only team that I could get in six days, I've asked around when I've got dropped and I found out, I went to Hal. I have DM recorded of that. Um, saying that, like, is this true? And he said, yeah, it's true. And I'm like, um, why didn't you tell me? Okay, I don't care that I got dropped. At least just respect me in some way. Just tell me that I'm getting dropped. Or like, there's going to be a change happening. None of them said that. But anyways, I found out from Timmy. He told me six days before roster lock. And, um, I was, I was, and then Hal's excuse, Hal's excuse was that we don't want your visa to get cancelled. But when I talked to Falcons, like the Falcons people, which they have already talked to, I guess, but I don't know. I talked to the Falcons people and they said that they'll keep doing my visa until it's done. So even if I'm off the, the org, they're still going to help me do it, regardless. But I don't know where that's coming from, for not telling me. That's not an excuse. So like, it's just like, I, I didn't have enough time to find the team, if that makes sense. I told Hal five, des five days before I found out, by the way, as well. I think I have DMs of it. I'm like to him, is there going to be, like everyone was silent after land, right? Everyone was just silent after land. There's like radio silence, nothing going on. Everyone's on their holiday, right? And then I ask Hal five days before I found out that I'm getting dropped. I message him and I'm like, yo, what's going on? Is there going to be changes? There's, what's, this with, uh, what's with the radio silence? And he said that I'm going to go ask Zero what, what's happening or whatever. And then he said, he told me that he's in Melbourne. And he's in Melbourne, just keep doing your own thing. He could have told me there that there's going to be a change or whatever. But he never did. Yo, I see me. Thanks for 11 months. Is that thanks for 45? He never, they, they, just, they never told me. Like he, didn't, he could have told me there, like five days. He didn't tell me. Like, I, I don't know. It's just like, that's the only part I'm mad about. I don't care that I got dropped. I do not care. It's just the fact that they, they were like trying to fuck me over with the roster. Like, thank God I even found the team. Like, thank God I even found the team. Because I, I shouldn't have gone to champs. I'm being honest. I've asked every single team. I've asked every single fucking team. They were already locked in. They were already locked in with their new third. Like, I, I'm so lucky that I even found Design and Timmy. Like, genuinely. I, I'm like, so, so lucky. I'm glad that I even have a team to play with. For champs. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be at this event. I genuinely shouldn't be at this event. Hank, thanks for the prime. But yeah, that's basically what I'm mad at. It's like the only thing. And yeah, that's about it. If I had some time, I could have like, you know, like, got more opportunities maybe. Did Timmy tell you how he knew? Uh, yeah, he told me. He told me he knew, yeah. But that's not the only thing, like, it's just like, I deserve some respect, no? Like, just at least the, the little, the most little thing you can do is just at least let me know beforehand that there's going to be a change. It, that's literally all I asked for. Like, that's literally all I asked for. Red, all the reddish, like, you, for all the people that, then another that thing, I like, okay, so I did like, I explained the whole logical explanation, right? But I just want to separate myself from that logical thing, but just say for all the people that deliberately think that me and Zero wanted to fuck over Jen this entire time, I, if you know that if why would I want like I could have fucked him hard like fucked him even harder. Don't clip that. I could have fucked him even harder. I could have waited two days, one day. If I wanted to fuck him over, I, why didn't I wait until the day before? 
Why didn't I wait until three days before? I could have just lied and be like, no, that's not true. We're keeping you on the team. Like, you think I'm like stupid enough? Do you think that me or Zero are stupid enough to deliberately like f another person over? Like when it's it would be so public and obvious that it was intentional. Like if it, if I wanted either of us wanted to f him over, we could have, but we didn't. It had nothing to do with fing anybody over. Literally, it, it, you don't. It's like I don't think people understand that. Like five days, it could have been worse. Like if I was deliberately going out of my way to f him over, I could have just lied and be like, no, that's not true. Like we're not kicking you off the team. It's not true. It's not true. I could have lied. If I really wanted to be a piece of shit and deliberately f him over, I could have lied through his face and said, no, you're still on the team and kept him on the Battlefly roster until the day before or even the day of and then f him over. But no, people are like, oh, yeah, they were, right, these guys are pushing. They couldn't tell him earlier, blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah, like, come on, bro. Come on. Like, like, let's let's please use our brains for once and think like Use our brains, please. Like, just for once. Like, like it's so it's so annoying. Like, people don't like. They're just like, oh yeah, this person said this. It's so true. I feel so bad for him. Like, oh my god. Like he he it, he must be going through so much. Like I have to. I have. It's man. Like come on, man. Like can we just like use our brain? It's actually insane. The funniest thing is, is that he was like also. Like, he was already talking to teams, like, so he assumed that he was going to get kicked. Like, he had the vibe of getting kicked. So he was already talking to teams even before we even told him or he found out for sure that he was getting kicked. So, it's as if, like, the timeline of him getting kicked even mattered in the first place because he was doing it anyways. So, like, come on. But yeah, it's just another case of people not doing the entire thing and assuming as usual, and just being f so, yeah, like people are on the internet and literally stay. The biggest thing is that the biggest thing that I've learned from being like in the middle of all of this, or just in most drama in general, champion. is that people speak on things that they have nothing. They have. They don't know anything about. I don't know why people do it. They talk about things they have nothing, they don't know anything about, anything. They don't know the full story, they have half the book, and they they, they feel the need to put, have a opinion on it. And it's like, why? And Jen also like, understands all of this, like I explained like half of that to Jen. The other half is obviously self-explanatory from a person that has experienced all of that. So like, I don't know why he still like, felt the need to go out of his way to like, say it. Make it seem like we were him over or whatever, but yeah, I don't know, but whatever, whatever, man.